What's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the very first FlopX AMA. My name is AJ. I am the team lead at EMP, uh, Spark, and L1 Dex, and I have the honor of being today's host uh, as we do a deep dive into what SwapX is, a little bit more background on BB, uh, the man himself, uh, and some awesome features that we'll be rolling out with SwapX as well as uh, some other integration that we're excited to work together on as well uh, in an official partnership. So uh, BB, I'm gonna just start. Uh, for those that don't know, again, my name is AJ Brockman. Uh, I've been in the space for over 10 years now. Uh, we run uh, two very successful protocols uh, one on Binance Smart Chain called EMP and another one on Pulse Chain called Spark. And uh, that one in particular will be important for today as we announce uh, some alpha towards the end. Uh, but we're really excited for an official partnership with SwapX uh, and uh, working with BB and the rest of the team directly to really help uh, blow this up and make it one of uh, the most uh, popular decks uh, on, on OKX's new uh, layer one. So uh, with that being said, BB, maybe give us a little bit of background on who you are uh, and we can go from there, man. Mm, okay. Uh, thanks for the intro, uh, AJ. Um, yeah, you know, I think most of the community remind, uh, remembers me from Drip and from Animal Farm and some of the projects in that ecosystem. Uh, I've been in crypto for quite a few years now. And, you know, I started like most developers, traditional software development, front end, uh, back end, and all that things. And then, yeah, over the years, got into Solidity and then never left. It's been quite a lot of fun. Um, I like the mixture of finance and security and programming that crypto offers, right? Um, so, yeah, also with SwapX, you know, I was approached by uh, the co-founder, Ricky, and he presented the project to me and I was looking forward to get into a new project. And this just seemed like a, a really solid project to work on. Um, the team has really been good. You know, they they did uh, a lot of work um, initially doing the research, doing the market research, getting everything in place. And, you know, I think what we've built or what we're building is something that's really going to be, it's going to be something different. It's going to be something new. And I think it's going to be really bullish. I love it, man. Absolutely. Again, you're uh, an OG in the space. Again, uh, uh, a very prominent developer, uh, even though you're not in the limelight, so to speak. Uh, I know even today, uh, you're a bit nervous about doing the AMA, but, uh, you know, and I've known you <laughs> for a long time now. And, you know, it's really exciting to see something new. I know everything that you've been involved in has been a major success. So that's really promising for sure, bro. Yeah, like you say, this is not uh, my forte. This is not uh, what I do. I like to keep the to the code editors, but uh, you know, for for this project, um, I think you know, I really want to bring it out there to the community, and you know, I think we we're really building something new and interesting. Uh, that that that's going to be really good. One hundred percent. Well, and let's kind of just jump yeah. into that now. Then, I mean, again, uh, I know uh, uh, the the current teasers and some of the white paper has already been out. Uh, again, you can visit the SwapX mm -hmm. website for more info. But we're going to do just a quick overview of what SwapX is, and then we can get into more of the key features uh, as well. But uh, I guess you know, why don't we start with you know again uh, what SwapX is? Uh, you know, and and really the V3.3 model of a DEX, how that works, uh, we can kind of go from there. But yeah, uh, for those that don't know, what is a, a decentralized exchange? I guess, baby, let's start super simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everybody here already is very familiar with the decentralized exchange. Uh, you know, uh, well, let's, let's compare it to the obvious uh, opposite which is a centralized exchange you know so and let's talk about what's the problems of a centralized exchange right so centralized exchanges you 
you deposit, let's say, your funds for trading or staking, and then then you, you know, your assets are not not in, on your wallets anymore, right? You're dependent on that centralized uh, exchange to, let's say, honor your deposits once you want to withdraw. And we have seen in the past, you know, things can happen also like hacks or, you know, an exchange collapse, like FTX would be the best example to look at. And I think that decentralized exchanges take away a lot of this risk, right? Because the de decentralized exchange only lives on the chain and it's only code, right? There's no trust involved. It's just the contracts and the code, right? So you can just trust the code and you know the, the, there are some risks involved but i kind of i like it more because your assets are always you know in your control and when you interact with the contracts you always know what you're gonna get yeah 100 percent, brother and i think <laughs> you know as we move forward in DeFi, i mean this is something that we talk about a lot is uh removing that third party risk uh, you know, relying on true decentralized tech. Uh, and like you said, that, that uh, everything is based in code and, and not some, you know, third party making decisions on your behalf or, or having custody uh, of your token. So a hundred percent. So I guess let's move into what is a V3 three DEX? Um, because a lot of us, I think are used to, you know, uh, the, the V, uh, V2 technology with LP pairs, uh, but this really brings it to a whole new mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the V33 is part of the DEX. I wouldn't say it is the DEX, it is part of the DEX, right? So for Swap X, for example, we have, as in the engine, in our core engine, we have Al Algebra Integ Integral, which is used for the trading. And within that system, we have something that provides concentrated liquidity. And, you know, if everybody that's coming from a V2 DEX uh, to a V3 DEX, you know, they, they would be familiar with the concentrated liquidity. And then the V33 model is kind of a mechanic that's added onto the DEX that incentivizes users to provide liquidity. And then when users provide liquidity, they, they earn this DEX token for example, in our case, it's called SwapX. And then what they can do is they can lock their SwapX tokens. And then when, when, when users lock the SwapX token, they're earning fees from the exchange. So it's kind of like this circulating process where you're earning fees, uh, you're, you're earning the token, and you can lock them to, to earn even more. You know, So it's like a self-sustaining model in a way. For sure. And I think that's super bullish because, you know, typically we see in most uh, exchanges, obviously there has to be some sort of incentive to provide liquidity. And so again, that, that reward token uh, is given, but a lot of times, you know, that reward token is just created to be sold. And, you know, the, the DEXs mm -hmm. that are using, you know, uh, additional utility, again, in this case with the V3 mm -hmm. model, uh, it will boost your voting power um, to, you know, reward mm -hmm. emissions. And we, we can talk a little bit more about that uh, when we get into the specifics. But again, on the surface, it, it gives the immediate utility to the reward token, which in theory, uh, greatly reduces the sell pressure, right, BB? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, like you explained, and you know, also with 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 the system, what what outside, uh, let's say a a outside token, right? Somebody has a meme coin that they that they launched, and they want to get liquidity to that pair. So with the V33 model, they can incentivize people to provide liquidity into those pairs, and they can do it through something that's called bribes uh, or incentives. And basically, they can provide funds to that pair, which the stake, uh, which, which the users that are staked into that pair, not, not the liquidity providers, but the um, locked token providers, they then earn those fees. So it's another way to kind of incentivize users to provide liquidity to specific pairs that, that let's say, third-party partners would want. 
Yeah, absolutely. And again, the other really cool part about that is uh, in order for them to be able to vote, uh, you know, obviously to, to, to get more emissions to their, their particular token, they have to either farm uh, swap X or buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, you know, mm -hmm. uh, out mm -hmm. to, to a lot of like in your example, these beam tokens that want uh, major exposure, they're gonna they're gonna be wanting to mm -hmm. buy a ton of swap X to have you know the emissions uh, uh, routed to them. And again, mm -hmm. that's a that's a really uh, you know again we're not gonna talk too much about price today, but uh, that's very mm -hmm. healthy in terms mm -hmm. of economics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, there's also for for a lot of the V33 DEXs, how they do it is that that if you want to, uh, let's say, have, if you want to allow voting on your pool, you have to hold a minimum amount of tokens, right? So you have to buy a buy and hold a specific amount of tokens if you if you want the DEX to allow you to get people to vote on your pair. So that's like another way that um, it, it brings more utility to the token. Awesome. All right, brother. All right, let's move mm -hmm. on now to, I guess, more about algebra and the V4 technology. Now, mm -hmm. this is super, uh, you know, mm -hmm. cutting edge. And, you know, uh, BB and I were even talking mm -hmm. uh, earlier today of the best way to kind of explain uh, what this means. But uh, mm -hmm. what we're going to just stop at it. So mm -hmm. maybe, I guess, the first thing is, uh, what does V4 technology, again, when we say V4, you know, uh, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. the, the main DEXs right now, Uniswap, uh, you know, uh, the big guys, they're on V3. Um, and now with the, the Duncan mm -hmm. upgrade for uh, EVM uh, chains, uh, there there's a lot of really exciting new tech available with V4 technology. So maybe give a quick uh, mm -hmm. overview of what that is, BB, and then I can talk about some potential examples of what that means. Mm -hmm. So I just want to roll back a little bit, you know, before sure. we get into V4, you know, because I just want to talk a little bit about algebra itself, you know, because that is the the main DEX engine provider. And, you know, they are a established, uh, well-known audited um, company out there. And, you know, they're, they're providing the V4 technology at the moment. And, you know, if you have a look, they, they are already pair, uh, partnered with, uh, some big DEXs in the space like Camelot and QuickSwap and even Thena. So, you know, this this is a engine that's already been battle tested, right? Uh, it's already out there. It's already working. We will be the first V4 engine to, to launch. Um, but from Algebra, they, they, they're definitely leading on a lot of this um, new technology. And, you know, they, they've also they've also worked very hard to do it very gas efficiently and their audits, you know, that's obviously the most important is the security. And I'm not aware of any issues with their code so far. So, you know, they've got a lot of audits and they are already running on, on big exchanges like Camelot, QuickSwap and Thena. Um, so yeah, with that V4 technology, I think what the main focus of v4 is is that it brings about customize uh like that you can customize uh the the dex engine right so this this is a little something more from traditional software where you can hook you know they, in, they call it also hooks where we can inject functionality before or after or even during a swap and this allows really just limitless uh, possibilities of things to do. I think at the moment, you know, people haven't quite realized what, what it's going to do, like how, how powerful that's going to be. But if we look at like a very, very simple example. Um, so if you wanted to limit which hours of the day uh, a certain pair wants to trade, you can just put in a plugin, hook it up to that pool, and then you'd say, okay, this pair only trades between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. You know, and that is a very, very basic example, but it just brings about this ease of implementation 
um, to to any DEX engine. And I think that's really going to be something that, you know, once Uniswap also launches this and PancakeSwap and all these others, once this comes really to the mainstream, then we're really going to see interesting functionalities come out of this uh, feature set. For sure. No, I agree 100%, BB. And again, just to, to simplify things, the, the hook mechanism is essentially adding a smart contract to you know the the action that happens before and or after the swap. And you know, like BB mentioned, there, there's a lot of really cool stuff that can happen. Uh, you know, he had said limiting trading hours. Another really cool example uh, that I saw was. You know, uh, uh, basically an automatic DCA uh, uh, contract where, you know, say you want to buy into a token, but you don't want to have, you know, uh, you want to buy 10 grand uh, in one spot. Uh, you, you can actually use one of these hooks, you know, to buy over time and get you a better entry uh, mm -hmm. on the asset. So, you know, there are a lot of amazing, you know, new features that uh, I think will revolutionize the way that we interact with DEXs, for sure. And swap DEXs on the cutting edge yeah. of all that, brother, for sure. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's 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 um, it, it's not out there yet. You know, we haven't really seen this play out yet. So I think it's really exciting to see what's going to come of it. I think at the moment we can't even imagine what features are the, what what plugins and what features are going to come from it. I think it's really exciting. For sure. No doubt. Well, and again, I mean, crypto moves so fast that, you know, to be on the bleeding edge of the technology and be one of the first movers, you know, that should bring a lot of eyeballs uh, to SwapX for sure. So, mm -hmm. uh, all right. Awesome. Anything mm -hmm. else you want to mention about Algebra or the V4 tech? Mm, no, no, I think it's, uh, we can move on from Algebra all right, and V4, awesome. yeah. So another, again, amazing feature uh, in SwapX, which makes uh, you guys stand out, is the Ichi integration. So do you want to talk a little bit about what mm -hmm. Ichi is and how it's able to, you know, uh, 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 automate centralized or concentrated liquidity? Mm -hmm. So we SwapX is uh, exclusively partnered with Ichi. And, you know, we've, we've had a really... Uh, good partnership with them and communications with them. And what they're offering is um, is automated liquidity management. And also what they do is they have these yield IQ vaults and it also makes it really easy to to provide liquidity, right? Uh, you just, you don't even need both pairs of the liquidity token. You can just stake a single token and they take care of everything else. And, you know, this just makes it really simple to provide liquidity and to start earning rewards on your assets without having to, you know, swap out into different tokens or having both pairs or impermanent loss or anything like that. You just, you just uh, take your single tokens that you already have and you stake it in there, you know, and they do all the rest and you start earning rewards. I love it, man. That is so bullish. Again, so just to recap on that, you know, a lot of us are used to just creating traditional V2 LP where you have to, you know, have uh, uh, the equal amount of both assets. So say you were wanting to provide liquidity for, you know, USDC and Ethereum, you'd have to have, you know, $500 of, of USDC and $500 of ETH. Well, with the V3 technology, uh, you know, concentrated liquidity, you're able to specify a range um, in, you know, what you're, what you're providing liquidity in, in terms of dollar value. Uh, and then you actually get a portion yeah. of the trade fees from that. And so this technology brings it even mm -hmm. one step further and allows you um, to essentially single stake, uh, you know, the holy grail that everybody uh, wants, you know, typically uh, uh, a single staking of a token doesn't really do anything uh, in terms of, you know, uh, benefit for liquidity. But in this case, it does because Ichi is managing mm -hmm. uh, everything else under the hood. And correct me if I'm wrong, BB, but 
uh, with this analogy, it's still um, uh, non-custodial as well, right? You still own your your mm -hmm. LP even using ETH. Um, well, you do deposit it into their vaults, um, but yeah, that 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 is still the same. You know, you do deposit it into their vaults, uh, but they do manage the ranges, like you were talking about the concentrated liquidity. You don't have to take care of any of the range settings, and they just they just make sure that the that that the liquidity that you provide is in the optimal range. So you're earning the maximum amount of rewards. Perfect. Yeah, because again, just not to get too far off topic, but it, in a traditional sense, mm -hmm. if you don't manage that range and uh, you know, your the liquidity goes outside of that range, then not only are you mm -hmm. getting all of one asset because it is essentially bought or sold uh, up to that range and you're no longer earning fees. So uh, those that do mm -hmm. know about concentrated liquidity, it is a major pain uh, to monitor the charge mm -hmm. and make sure you have a very tight range uh, without going out of that uh, ratio. And so again, each of you is a, a hands-off approach. They handle all of that and, and basically optimize the yield uh, on top of everything else for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, exactly, exactly, like you said, yeah. Cool. All right, awesome, man. Well, anything else about uh, EG and, uh, or any of the V33, uh, you know, uh, background before we move into, you know, where where we're building, uh, uh, where Swap X will be mm -hmm. uh, on the new OKXL2. So, yeah, anything before we get to that? Yeah. No, let's hop straight into the new blockchain and... Uh, yeah, we can just have a look at that a bit. Awesome, brother. All right, cool. So again, for those who don't know, uh, SwapX will be on the new layer two uh, from OKX. And uh, this is going to be uh, not only super bullish because of, you know, the first mover advantage, uh, the the uh, chain itself is still in testnet with uh, hoping to go live uh, within the next few weeks. Um, and then, you know, SwapX can have a first mover advantage on that chain, along with all the additional features that we've been discussing the entire AMA. Um, so that really sets it up for success. And what is also really important is, you know, uh, OKX itself. So a great uh, uh, comparison, and then I'll let uh, BB elaborate, but, you know, a, a lot of times these centralized exchanges like OKX or more, uh, more importantly, Binance or Coinbase, uh, they release these L2s and have a ton of volume and adoption right out of the gate because they're doing so much and have a name already built for themselves in the, on the centralized side. So uh, again, you know, just like Binance, released uh, BNB, um, you know, and, and Coinbase released Base. Uh, OKX will now be releasing this new uh, L2. And I mean, the volume, uh, again, maybe you can go into it, but uh, we're seeing literally millions of dollars of volume uh, on OKX already. And so we would think that that would definitely be able to translate into the new L2 as well. But yeah, go ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, the the OKX, the new the, the new chain is uh, it's called X1, and you know it's a zk L2 network, and the native token is OKB, and I'm sure if you've watched the chart recently, that token has skyrocketed. Um, so I think there's going to be definitely a lot of interest, and like you said, also the volume. Um, if I'm just checking on Coin Gecko, OKX is in the top four in 24 hour volume so they definitely are one of the top exchanges in the world um their current stats are something like 50 million active users and it is you know a global user base it's not one you know let's say coinbase is very uh american focused whereas okx is much more global you know and they have a huge huge community in asia so I think there's going to be a lot of hype, especially on the launch, you know, like Coinbase, uh, the, the, the base chain that came out. I think that's definitely 
a reference to look at. And, you know, we have very good connection with OKX, you know, and they are providing us with a lot of support and assistance and helping us reaching new partners and reaching with with technical things. You know, it's really been a very good collaboration with them. And, you know, they are, well, not they, I would say, we are looking definitely for to be the premier decks on there. You know, our first name, OK Exchange, was maybe a little bit too optimistic, but um, we're, we're still uh, looking forward to, to be the main decks on this new chain. For sure, bro. No, I love it. And really, you know, again, the decks, uh, any decks are the backbone of, you know, these new chains. And, you know, when, when these different meme tokens start popping up, when people start building, you know, amazing projects, there has to be a DEX to host the liquidity. And so, again, on a new chain, it's even more important. And, and it translates into mm-hmm. more volume, you know, for, for Swap X, mm-hmm. which is really the, the goal uh, and how everybody, you know, pr- uh, benefits. So, yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Any other info on uh, the overview of Swap X that we may have, have missed? Um, and then we can talk about what everybody wants to, to hear. How do they get involved, man? The NFT uh, fundraiser. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so the fundraiser, you know, as you guys know, we just recently put it out. Uh, there has been, the interest has been very comforting, let's say. Um, so, you know, I can give you, I can give everybody a quick rundown again of what it is. Um, there's going to be 3,000 NFTs for sale, uh, each at 0.16 ETH, which is currently about, $550 more or less, give or take. And for every wallet that will be participating, they will have a limit of 10, 10 uh, NFTs. And, you know, so the, the, the process of how the sale will go, you know, everybody is now signed up for the early access list. And everybody on this list will get a chance to participate. Um, but there, there's, let's say, three stages to this whole process. Uh, firstly, will be the secured spots, uh, which will last for 12 hours. You know, so so the the main influencers like yourself, AJ, and everybody else on the list, they will have 12 hours to get their secured spots, and then after that, we will go into the let's say the early access sale, which will be first come, first serve. So everybody that signed up to the list um, will have their address white uh, signed up and then they can buy the NFT. And if that doesn't sell out, then we will go to the public sale, which will last 24 hours and we'll have a price of 0.18 ETH but with the figures we've seen so far, I do not believe the public sale is going to happen. Um, I would definitely think everybody needs to be up early for the private sale once that goes, uh, once this first come first serve starts, uh, because the figures have been really bullish. Uh, you know, the forum is growing rapidly every single day, and you know so. The obvious question is, you know, why why would you want this NFT? You know, what what is the what is the purpose of it? So, I think there's a, there are a few reasons to to get this NFT. And first of all, is that you'll be earning swap fees, and for the first three months, twenty percent of the Dex swap fees will go towards the NFT holders, and then after three months, it'll be fifteen percent, and then after six months, it will be 10% forever. So there just just having the NFT will be generating revenue towards you. And also um, whenever this NFT will get traded in the future, the original minter will be earning royalties from that secondary sale forever. So it's like the self paying NFT in a way. And then on top of that as well, we have um, 
the airdrop, right? So there's going to be a little bit of um, randomness. So when you buy the NFT, you have a chance to get a platinum one, which is the most rare NFT, and there's going to be only 10 of them. Or you could get a gold NFT, which is there's 100 of them. And then the rest are the rainbow NFTs. And then there is a specific amount of tokens that will be airdropped to the holder of each NFT tier. Amazing. Again, I don't know what yeah. more what more you could build in uh, to that NFT to make it more attractive because you know not only are you getting some swap X tokens uh, by having one, but really, mm -hmm. you know, from my perspective, and it's what we've been building in all of our own protocols as well is this ability mm -hmm. to earn real yield from the protocol. And again, we're not talking about, you know, uh, 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 inflation or, you know, made up gains. Uh, this is actual uh, revenue yeah. from the trading fees uh, of the protocol. So, and again, earning uh, uh, in, 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 in perpetuity or forever uh, is also super <laughs> bullish. So, yeah. And I know, again, just- I think example, also that, that well, it's- yeah, go ahead. Excuse so, me. Yeah, I, I just want to say, you know, that that a lot of NFTs out there is, uh, you know, so let's say it's like it's a, you're buying a JPEG, right? You're buying a picture. Uh, I think this NFT, you know, it's going to have a really cool picture as well, but it's going to have a whole lot of features as well. So this, this is definitely a different kind of NFT than you usually see out there. For sure. Yeah, a utility that has actual uh, use case. Uh, attached to it and actual value, uh, not just a pretty picture. So, uh, all right, that's dope. And we are, as you said, uh, we are part of the influencer team. Uh, we will post um, the sign up to the whitelist for those that haven't. Obviously, you know, uh, choose uh, AJ EMP Swap uh, SparkX uh, or your favorite influencer. And uh, I know again some other bullish info. Uh, for our, our community uh, specifically, mm -hmm. we will be going in uh, with some of our treasury funds uh, as well. So we're getting exposure to uh, Swap X uh, on top of our partnership, um, and those fees will then uh, be fed into EMP Fusion and the Sparkler uh, contract on the Pulse side. So, uh, and I guess uh, BB, how long is that whitelist form going to be open? uh not not much longer right people people need to get on it <laughs> yeah um I'll, I'll have to check with the team how long they plan to leave it open um we have to actually really see about the allocation um you know one thing that i forgot to mention earlier is that we had some partners reach out that wanted to also buy quite a substantial block of the nfts and we have to kind of see how we're going to squeeze them in. Um, but yeah, I would suggest everybody sign up as soon as possible with, with your favorite influencer. Um, and then, yeah, the team, the team will, will let everybody know when, when we will close that down. Okay. Awesome, brother. And I, uh, just for more clarification, um, is the raise mm -hmm. actually happening on BNB? network when that when the time comes or mm -hmm. maybe you just go through a little yeah. bit of what that looks yeah. like yeah yeah so the race is happening on bsc and people will have to send to the contract the eth token right so the eth token on the bnb network or the bsc network so it might be a good time to swap right now in with the current ETH prices um but yeah, so it is a ERC twenty ETH token on the BNB network. Perfect. All right, and double check again. Make sure everybody double checks the contract addresses. We will post uh, in the socials too. Just don't get scammed. Uh, but there's plenty of liquidity on the BRC twenty uh, version uh, of of ETH for sure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and one last thing too. Uh, I know a lot of people have mm -hmm. have signed up. Uh, but they just want to make sure that they are, are on the whitelist. You also have a verification tool uh, on the website too, correct? To verify? Yes, that yes. Uh, one, of our, one of our team members built this um, 
Yeah. So if you go to swapx.fi slash checker, you can enter your wallet address in there and it will show you whether you are on the list or not. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Well, good yeah. deal, brother. And just to give everybody a little bit more background, and then we may take uh, one or two questions here at the end. So if you have a question, please feel free to type it in the Telegram chat, and we can uh, try to get to it. But uh, in terms of you know uh, our partnership, again, uh, BB and I uh, go mm -hmm. way back, but we um, we're going to be integrating a lot of amazing. Uh, functions on top of everything that BB talked about today. And the number one thing is uh, integrating our bridge. So uh, we have built a extremely uh, fast and reliable bridge from Arbitrum to uh, BSC to Pulse. So uh, those of you that are familiar with Spark, uh, our, our uh, number two DEX now uh, on Pulse chain, we have had a ton of volume uh, not only on our own DEX, SparkSwap, uh, but also through the bridge. And so we are planning on adding mm -hmm. X1 uh, as a another uh, option when using our bridge. So this is super bullish because uh, it will allow people to get into SwapX uh, from you know maybe some uh, lesser known chains. Right, BB? Yes, yes, exactly. Like you said, AJ, and, um, you know, we, we, we discussed about this bridge and, you know, I know you guys are really um, helping out, let's say, the small, uh, some smaller chains out there For and sure. that you're, you're, you're giving people a way to get in and out of there. And, yeah, I think it would be really good to link these communities to, to some chains that are maybe not as available as they should be. Um, I, I think a lot of the community in here is also on, on those chains. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that we're looking forward to integrate onto our decks. Amazing brother, yeah, 100%. And you know, we all have seen uh, how powerful it is to offer one of the first bridging options to a new chain. Because, you know, obviously we can have the most amazing technology, but if there's no way to get onto X1 that's easy uh, mm -hmm. or on and off is, is the hard part. So we'll have all that infrastructure ready to go uh, as soon as humanly possible. And again, allow everybody to ape uh, because I, I know that... Uh, I don't think the uh, the pre-sale is gonna last, brother. So I don't want people uh, <laughs> disappointed if they if they can't get in. They're gonna have to ape uh, when SwapX goes live, for sure. So we'll we'll have an avenue for them to yeah. get over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're definitely gonna have to provide them, right? Yeah. Sounds good. Awesome. All right. I see one or two quick questions. Uh, and then we can wrap it up. Again, we wanted to make it short and sweet today, but super bullish for uh, everything that's coming. Again, shout out to all of you for coming. Uh, today, we had almost 200 people uh, on the first AMA, and we'll continue to give other uh, updates and interviews uh, uh, as well. But uh, I have one real quick, BB. Uh, are the NFT holders mm -hmm. going to be paid with Swap X tokens or uh, some sort of stable token from uh, the the revenue of the protocol. Uh, it's going to be the swap X token. It's going to be Perfect. the swap X token. Yeah. Well, and I'm assuming too. Again, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, that means that all of the fees will actually be buying swap X uh, and then rewarding it. So it's a double whammy uh, of of helping the price. Uh, by using the fees to buy SwapX first and then rewarding that to all the NFT holders. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, all right. I really think uh, I don't see a lot of regressions. Uh, I don't know if you saw any on your side or, or if there's anything you want to go over before we, we wrap it up. Go ahead, BB. Um, no, I think for today, I, I've spent my uh, AMA allocation um i want to thank you aj for for uh for hosting this um it, it's really been a good first try um i also want to say thank you just to everyone in the community uh the squad you know who you are um you know 
our admins that have really been been doing great work out there and the team you know the team has really been been carrying this project and you know everybody's it's just been so positive you know everybody we've reached to uh, it's just been positive everywhere so i just want to say thank you and shout out to everybody out there amazing brother no doubt well i'm honored to be uh the first ama uh with you especially uh publicly here on swap x and we're really excited for our continued partnership again with emp and spark swap uh and and many other things that we have uh in the works to continue to build you know amazing tech uh around what you guys are doing so uh yeah man i think that is a great place to sign off uh we will post the recording of this in uh the telegram and we will also upload the recording to our emp youtube uh channel so those that aren't on telegram can still uh hear all the uh bullish updates so uh all right awesome bb uh, on that note great we'll sign off all right aj thank you thank you guys good night all right thank you all we appreciate you all right, <laughs> bye -bye. cheers all right bye